Okay, I'm going to do this a little back ass words. First of all, hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Real Illusion Forum. Somebody's having a problem with this one outfit. I want to, I want to do this back ass words. So we're going to show the importing process because this takes a while to import. So I'm going to start this process and I'm going to show you how we exported it. So we're going to first go with CC3 Plus, always CC3 Plus. Cyberpunk is going to be the outfit. Uh, this particular outfit is, there's really nothing to it. So I'm not quite sure what the issue is, but I wanted to show this guy something and how it works for me and maybe there might be some output settings or something you always know by the way if it goes past 20 percent when it's going this thing actually past five percent if it gets stuck at five percent then it'll often say hey there's a problem here and that's because the the some of the mesh has been hidden by the outfit and that's when you have to load in a duplicate figure which we'll also go over real quick here too anyway it comes in here you always go to advance always 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 never use basic ever never and uh advanced and so this loads in this stuff i think this guy wanted i can't remember i'd have to look back i think he wanted 40 80 i'm not going to do that because again that takes longer and i just don't want this to be a long process but uh this is going to load this in and what it's going to do is it's going to get to an intermediate point to where it has all the items that it's going to load in and that's where you can also make some decisions about what you do and don't want to load in I, I know this is real basic stuff, guys, but uh, he's having some issues, and I'm not sure where, so we're just going to go through this, and it's going to get here in a second after it gets through all the top. All okay, so here's all the stuff that it's going to bring in. This is good. Shoes are shoes. That's good. We want it to be shoes. The rest of the stuff, I don't really understand what the names are specifically for, but it's okay. We're going to just bring it in. Now, remember, we don't ever bake the body texture unless we actually want the textures to come in from that particular Daz character. Otherwise, it's just going to apply the default CC3 characters, textures, which is fine. That's what we want. Okay, so that's all we're going to do. We're not going to do anything else here. We're just going to say, okay, all right? So anyway, let's go back to Daz. I want to show you something. He was always having trouble with this outfit, which is kind of a, um, I don't remember what the name of this outfit was. It was uh, a sci-fi outfit. This was the sci-fi one, and the other was the cyberpunk outfit. Uh, yeah. Okay, this is sci CR sci-fi. Anyway, this one, when I first exported it without this other Genesis 2 female, just like this, if we turn her off for a second, uh, just with this outfit applied, this went ahead and gave me an error and said, hey, I can't find a suitable figure. And that often happens if part of the outfit hides part of the mesh in this outfit. And it's hiding the feet, I suspect. So what we do is we just drag in another Genesis 2 female and we export it out and then that, that's all that happens. So... That works. So in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to undress this gal and go back to her, how she is originally. And I'm going to bring in this other outfit that he was having trouble with. So here's this outfit I'm dragging in from uh, from my dad's assets. I've got just thousands and thousands of assets. And so there. Okay, so now she's dressed in this outfit. And that's all we really want to do. We don't want to do anything else with this. I don't know what else he was trying to do. We really don't want to do anything else. The, the default is a very... Uh, is, is exactly what we want. If you want to have textures at a certain level, you do that in Transform. You don't do it here in DAS. You just export. So we're going to go to Export, just like that. And we're just going to export, I think, as Cyberpunk. That's the one I'm bringing in. I'm not going to do this because I've already done this, but we're going to go this far, and I'm not actually going to yes. So, so we're going to do that. I want to show them the settings that we have. So these are the settings. So figures and props are checkmarked. Animations, and we don't have any animations, but you can do Locks, limits, morphs, merge clothing into figure skeleton. Got to have that check marked. Allow degraded skinning, allow degraded scaling, and sub D. That's it. You don't want to have any other check marks here. And then we say accept, and then it's going to bring it in. And remember, it's doing this in the background, so we don't want to do this now. So we're going to cancel out on it. So now if we go back to the background, there it is. It brought it in. So I'm not really sure where he's having an issue here. Uh, there are some issues in terms of we want to add clothing weights on here, so we want to add physics maps so this works properly. But other than that, it's actually weighted correctly in terms of the, the, the bone weights. The bone weights are going to transform this based on the uh, not the physics, and that's a whole other issue, and I've done a lot of videos on that. But, but other than that, the, the weights are correct here. So, you know, so there's... There's that outfit. I'm not sure where he's having trouble, but he needs to do... He, he might be... He, he talked about having a T-pose. You really don't have to mess with a T-pose. Uh, don't listen to Real Illusion. They they tell you some things you don't need to mess with. Uh, this is just straightforward uh, stuff. So there you go. That's how to how to get it from Daz into, uh, into Transformer. And uh, hopefully this helps him. And we'll see you around the forums.